did you know the water we drink right now is the same water the dinosaurs drank? That's old. Hey, I'm Josh. Did you know there's something called a water cycle? But what is a water cycle? Energy from the sun warms oceans, lakes and rivers. The water rises into the atmosphere as a gas called water vapour. This is called evaporation. Plants take up water through their roots and pass moisture into the atmosphere through their leaves. This is called transpiration. As water vapour rises, it cools and condenses to form clouds. This is called condensation. Water from clouds falls back to earth in the forms of rain, hail, sleet and snow. This is called precipitation. Some rainfall soaks deep into the ground. This is called infiltration. Rainfall that doesn't get soaked into the ground runs off the land into creeks and rivers. This is called runoff. What were all those words? Can you remember? Evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and runoff. So this is the same water that goes around and around the cycle over and over again. Just like this rap I'm gonna do. Hit it, evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and don't forget about runoff. Okay, so, I know the water I drink has been around and around forever, but when I turn on a tap, where does it actually come from? When it rains, water moves through runoff and infiltration. And when a dam is built across a river, water is collected in a reservoir, which is a large artificial water storage. In Australia, our water mainly comes from dams. They store our water that we use every day. A dam must have pipelines connected to the nearest water treatment plant, so the water can be treated for it to be safe to come through our taps for us to drink. But that's like heaps of water. It can't make much difference if I do things like leave the tap on when I brush my teeth. By the year 2035, in Australia, it's expected that nearly 32 million people will require water every day. That's why it's so important that we protect this precious resource and make sure that there's enough water for everyone. So, as it turns out, water doesn't just magically come out of a tap. The same water cycles endlessly around the earth and sky over and over. It's as old as the dinosaurs. And the more our population grows, the more we need to look after our water and make sure every drop counts. How do we do that? Turn the tap off when we brush our teeth. Scrape your food scraps instead of rinsing them. Oh, and take shorter showers. Just enough to get clean. Can you think of anything else? <laughs>